GEDstudyguide.org presents everything you should know about the GED science exam. The allotted time for the science portion is 90 minutes. The exam consists of 34 questions. To pass the exam, you must have a minimum score of 150 points. The test will be administered on a computer. 40% of the test will consist of life science questions. Life science topics include genetics and DNA, organization of ecosystems, evolution and natural selection, and cell structures and processes. 20% of the test will consist of earth and space science questions. Earth and space science topics include structure of the earth, plate tectonics, geological cycles and processes, solar system, the universe, weather and climate, renewable and non-renewable natural resources. 40% of the test will consist of physical science questions. Physical science topics include atoms and molecules, chemical reactions, energy and work, motions and forces, and electricity. Other test-taking skills involve your scientific study comprehension. Scientific study comprehension are questions that require you to interpret passages from a reading and or graphs with specific information. You must also be familiar with scientific method. Your knowledge of the scientific method will be used to recognize and identify the steps involved, evaluate conclusions from the evidence, and apply concepts and formulas when necessary. Other test-taking skills are your mathematical comprehension and reasoning. Mathematical skills include reading charts, graphs, and other data, evaluating scientific probabilities, and reading and applying statistical data. If you need a calculator during the exam, simply click the calculator icon on your test computer screen. You will be responsible for two short answer responses. Each short answer response is worth up to three points. Short answer responses are based on one or more reading passages and or graphics or a combination of the two. Your response will be typed in a box found in your test computer screen. You are expected to create one or two well-constructed paragraphs with well-supported information that has been pulled from the passages, graphs, and or charts. For more information, stop by gedstudyguide.org or click the link below for more information.